Hello friends, welcome back. We will be looking into the microservices. I will introduce you the world of microservices. How does it look like? How you can define the microservices? Okay, so you know the different time the different people have the given the different definition. So we will not discuss about who is right, who is wrong and what should be the definition. Okay, but the smallest definition you can see the small autonomous service that work together. So there will be the different service maybe one two or n number of service will be there, there that will be combinedly work together and the larger definition you can see the it's a microservices is an architecture a variant of the service oriented architecture structural style arranges an application as a collection of loosely coupled service in a microservices architecture services are fine grained and the protocols are lightweight so ultimate goal of the microservices to build the application which are which are loosely coupled instead of making the application monolithic which all the all the uh, functionality heavily dependent upon the single thing single single component okay we should go with the loosely coupled my, uh, services okay so let's see so you know uh, uh, what i think and based upon the my, uh, my experience the macro services we can see the services as a macro services if these three uh, characteristics is having with the services so first is the rest enabled okay so micro services must have a rest enabled to make the uh, the services language independent and platform independent it should not depend upon the any language to, today you, you have developed your services uh, in a net the other services has got developed in a java okay so these two developed services should be interact with each other without any problem the second is a small well defined deployable units so every microservices have a boundary with some definition so there should be some definition there should be some boundary associated with the microservices and it should be independent deployable so you know you have today you have a uh, two microservices tomorrow you can have three another day you can have 10 in can have a n number of you know the, uh, the microservices so each microservices should have independent deployable the other thing is cloud enabled microservices should be cloud enabled today you have developed the two microservices or three microservices it should be scalable when the load is coming on the particular microservices it should be a scale up and when the load is getting down it should be scaled down so let's see how it look like okay so see uh, this is the microservices one and we are having the one instance this is the microservices two which are having the four instance b1 b2 b3 b4 see microservices three we are having the two instance so when the microservices microservices one will have more load it should be able to bring the another instance okay so how it can achieve it can be achieved by using the cloud only microservices two today we have a four instance so tomorrow the load is very minimum you can scale down to one instance only suppose you have microservices three c1 and c2 okay so this way it should be the cloud enabled so these three as per as per my understanding and as per my experience these three should be or must be the part of your microservices uh, implementation okay so bye for now until the next step thank you